question is, how would we react if we would have the power? Would we change as well? Start of Anaglyph was just a, um, yeah, just a glass of wine with Fran, with the 3D artist, and just combining 3D and fashion, and I don't know, just having a bit of a, over a glass of wine, dream, conversation. And at the end, we came up with this idea, and we, so we couldn't find anything like this been done before, and started getting really excited about it, thinking, no, we, we have something here, we do. I mean, this project gave me the opportunities to try out techniques I never had near my hands and never, you know, like, especially in the workshop with the Deutsche Zarabische Centrum, there, all those amazing housewives. We've learned textile techniques we've never even heard about. Projekt äh, von Frauen für Frauen und ja und dann sieht man mal wirklich wie, äh, wie schwer eigentlich Handarbeit ist ja aber ähm, die Sache ist äh, wenn man das dann zum ersten Mal versucht ist es dann doch nicht so schwer man muss nur den Willen haben Ja, ich hoffe, dass äh, das klappt, die Projekte von diesem äh, Modelldesign äh, haben Interesse, mehr Interesse und weitermachen andere Projekte. Kleine Webtechniken, Makramee-Techniken, ja, es gibt ganz viele Sachen, also unendlich, hört gar nicht auf. If I think back, if go through stuff in my parents' house, there's books of skulls and tanks and planes and monsters. And I've always been drawing it and drawing and stuff. And that's what I always knew I was good at. I was curious to see how it would work out on clothing. And yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm still curious to see how it's going to work out on clothing, actually, to be honest. Definitely out the collage block stuff. The, the the idea of something sucking in and going out at the same time is is a new sort of thing. And then obviously with the body as well. I'm interested to see what you could do quite a lot with that. I want to see how it's going to turn out. It's like, yeah, individuality's been sold as the new thing, but then you're all doing the same thing, so you're not individual at all. Well, 3D software allows me as an artist to tell the stories far beyond the traditional 2D techniques. Opening a third dimension with the stereoscopic glasses, it's a very powerful tool. And it makes the people to get immersed in, in a unique experience. The creative process goes from uh, analog media like collage and ink drawings to the latest digital techniques such as projection mapping or digital sculpting, all in a parallel dialogue with the music creation for the fault blocks. The 
electronic music is something I've been very much involved with for getting on for 20 years. Um, and um, having this sort of visual onslaught, so you've got models coming towards you on a catwalk, their clothes are printed with 3D things, you're going to be wearing 3D glasses, so that the clothes are going to look weird, there's going to be all the animation going on in the background, which is also all 3D'd, which I've seen and looks great, some clips of, and um, then there's going to be my music. 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 Early hip hop, drum machines, scratching, lots of reverb, cold beats. There's a few technical issues about music which we weren't sure about. You know, the ideal situation was to have speakers all around the room and have eight channels so I can throw things that go in that corner and then behind you and then to the side and they spin around and all this kind of stuff. But it's very complicated and we only have one rehearsal session and. Um, We'll see about that. You've changed my view and my point of view. The strength of having to make something come out of so many minds, it makes the project really much interesting and strong. I couldn't show my clothes without Ian's illustrations of fram projections. It just everybody depends on each other and that's what makes it a complete project. Uh, my name is Anne Tyre. My name is Yukiko. Hi. So mainly I do performance and live art. I crochet, I do paintings, I do makeup. Embroidery. So lucky for paint the building. I have the models and then I have the video and then you know I have the the, the clothes itself so I have to work with everything. That is what I consider entertainment. Technet is a platform for everything to all of the disciplines to showcase and to try to sell. They are, there's like clothing shop, there's exhibitions happening, there's music studios, there's dance floor, there's theatre plays, comedy. Anybody who's doing some kind of media can show it there. The guys are really open minded.
I found it pretty uh, inspirational. Oh, it was so amazing, dude. I never saw something... It was kind of special. With the 3D, with the... I mean, with the light also. Sehr Thank you.